DaVinci Resolve for noobs. There are times in a project where you might want to keyframe something where the motion should continuously loop throughout that video. Well, instead of taking the time to try to build that keyframe one at a time, let me show you a better way in Fusion. Let's start by right clicking up in the media pool and scroll down to create a new Fusion composition. You can name that whatever you want, and then you can bring that right down into your timeline. Let's right click on that and let's choose open in Fusion. Now it's gonna look like a single media out node because we haven't created anything yet. Let me start by bringing down a background and connecting that to the output. And let's try adding some text onto that. I'll bring a text node in, connect the output over to the output of the background, and that'll immediately create a merge node for me so I don't have to go and hunt one out and drag it in. Now let me select the text node and up in the upper right inspector, let's create some text. Now here's a simple text that I might want to scroll across the bottom of my screen, say during a live stream. So to do that, I would take my text node and I would add a transform node into that just below it between the text and the merge. Now with the transform node selected, I'd like to see this text start off screen on the right and move across to the left. So let me put my playhead all the way to the beginning. I'll go to the upper right. I'll grab the center X value, left click and drag that all the way to the right just till the words are out of screen. And I'll add a keyframe there. Let's go forward, I don't know, maybe 120, 130 frames. And now in the upper left, let's left click and hold on the center X again and pull it to the left just until that text is off screen. And you'll see that it's added another keyframe. And if I pull the playhead back to the beginning and I hit play, you'll see that that text moves across screen. With that transform node selected, let me go to the upper right and choose spline. That's going to show me my keyframes that I just added in that transform node. But I need to activate those boxes so that I can see them. This box here, the zoom to fit, will show me all the keyframes that I've made for this particular sequence. And there's just two. This is the one that starts off to the right, and this is the one that ends up off to the left. Now let me use this upper slider just to squeeze these in a little bit more. And I'm gonna draw a box all the way around these. That highlights both of these keyframes, and I'm gonna hit F on my keyboard to flatten it to give that motion a little softer curve. Now, if I wanted it to repeat, I could keep adding keyframes and try to build this out over a period of time, but the easiest thing to do is have both of these keyframes selected, right click in the gray area, and go up to Set Loop and choose Loop. And you can now see very lightly that these lines are all repeating. It's taken this keyframe motion and repeated it for the length of the clip. And if I go back to the edit page, I can stretch this out as long as I want. And this will move that text across screen and keep repeating that text for the length of the clip. 